Well, this definitely gets into you know how you get representation, and it, um, I think I touched on it with some of you guys in the break. It's it's different for everybody. I can certainly tell you my story. Um, uh, you know, the, the way it happened to me is this. <clears throat> Uh, I had I moved out to LA 89, I guess, and went out there partly to write, sort of some nebulous idea that I was going to write or direct or do something in the movie business, and then partly for a girl. Uh -oh. Yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, and I wrote a couple scripts. So this is and drama? This is <laughs> an action movie with knives. Um, the, uh, and a rabbit in a pot. The, um, I, I wrote a couple of scripts, sort of randomly. I wasn't pursuing that seriously. But I ended up leaving and, and I wandered around the world and did some work overseas and, and, and ended up writing a script about that experience called Savior, which I know some of you are familiar with. Um, and I had no agent, I had, you know, nothing. And this was, I guess, probably this, yeah, about the sixth script I had written. I'd written a couple in college and creative writing class and then few more out there. Um, I had been, you know, trying, I was thinking about making it next to myself and, and looking for a small amount of money to finance it. And I actually had um, a fairly young actor attached named Matt Damon who wanted to play the, the lead. Uh, he had just done some supporting things around. And I had met him and, and Ben and those guys. And But that was, again, part of being out there and just meeting people and going to parties and trying to, you know, schmooze and, you know, shag your way to the top, which is what happens sometimes when you're in your 20s. Um, anyway, so I, I was, and we, we had some success trying to find that, that money, a small amount of money. And then one day I was at a restaurant in uh, Hermosa Beach, a Cajun place, having um, black and catfish and Dixie beer. And I got a call on a uh, cell phone this would have been 96, yeah. And uh, I answered, and the person said, my name is Naomi and Lefe, and I work for Oliver Stone. We found your script, and we're interested in talking to you about it. And, you know, I said, well, is this John? Is this Sarah? Who, who's, you know, I thought it was a joke. Anyway, it was not. And um, they had gotten the script through some people, and because I, I had gotten it, gotten some opinions from different assistants that I had met over the time that I was there. And I, I went back and traced it. It, it, you know, it got to them through a couple of different friends, but you know, maybe three people. And they read it and liked it. And they called me. And, um, and then some, that process was a little um, uncommon because they, I had the meeting, they had a director attached they wanted to work with. I mean, I'd never met him, but they, they, Oliver's company wanted to make it with, wanted to make a movie with this guy. He liked the script. He had some ideas. I liked the ideas because they weren't going to pay me to rewrite it. They said, you know, the guy said, "This is some changes I think might be interesting." I had turned, you know, turned down some other producers who had ideas I didn't like, um, and uh, but I liked his, so I was willing to do it. I was willing to rewrite it, and I did it actually in a weekend because I was excited. And called him up next Monday. I finished it. He said, "Really?" <laughs> he thought it was going to take longer, and. They liked it, the director liked it, and, um, and this is uncommon, six months later they were shooting um, in, uh, in Europe. That was how I did it. Um, and then I you know, got representation off that. 